Welcome to my channel. Today I will tell you about Kruka Park. One of Croatia's biggest natural beauties is the Kruka Park. Between the Croatian cities of Nen and Sabenik, it is situated in the central Dalmatia region on the Adriatic coast. With a length of almost 72 kilometers and a total protected area of 109 square kilometers, the national park is quite large. The river that flows through the valley where the park is situated bears that name. In the middle of the river, Krakow features an unusual cascade of unman-made waterfalls, lakes, and lovely islands. It is a special location to swim in waterfalls, as this is typically not permitted in Balkan national parks. A unique climate, supportive of the flora and wildlife, was naturally generated by the presence of water, forests, proximity to the sea, and mountains. 860 different animal species, including over 220 bird species and 18 fish species, call the reserve home, the majority of which are confined to this area. Here are the actual seasonal animal and bird migratory paths. The centuries-old environment of Kruka is highly valued by Croats. Because of this, anyone can enter the national park, but there are a lot of rules that must be followed and breaking them might result in serious penalties. When visiting a park, it's crucial to be mindful of the following. Swimming is only permitted in certain areas, otherwise is strictly prohibited. Diving is not permitted. There are tight restrictions on all forms of fishing, hunting, stalking, and animal intimidation within the park. It is forbidden to start fires or campfires. The park does not permit dogs, professional photography, and driving your own car within without a specific permit are prohibited. Kruka National Park Attractions The park Kruka contains a variety of attractions worth seeing including waterfalls, caves, islands, monasteries, museums, several paths, and even its own ruins. For instance, the park has maintained the ruins of an old Roman aqueduct. History buffs will also find the ruins of the medieval fortifications Novena, Troenja, Bagasina, and others, dating to around the 14th century, in this area to be highly intriguing. Additionally, the first power plant in Croatia was constructed based on the great Tesla's blueprints. Waterfalls There are seven waterfalls in the well-known waterfall cascade. The cascade has a total height difference of 242 meters. The unique height, about 60 meters, of the Manaj Lovac waterfall sets it apart from the others. Skradinsky Beach Waterfall is the one that attracts the most tourists to Kruka. It stands 46 meters tall. No matter when you arrive at the park, the water falls from 17 steps, which is equally captivating throughout the year. Several restored water mills and valves that utilize the power of water for a variety of purposes may be found all around the waterfall. The mills occasionally serve as exhibition spaces for ethnographic displays. The Roski Slap Falls produce numerous water arms, cascades, referred to here as necklaces, and attractive islets. The waterfall rises 22.5 meters above the ground. The steps will take you to the Ozijin Cave from here. All prehistoric era's residents left their marks in the cave, According to archaeologists, since several millennia BC, someone has lived in the cave. Currently, an archaeological collection and figures of the region's prehistoric residents are housed in the cave. Curiously, the water in every reservoir of the National Park Kruka is an odd turquoise tint that is more common for saltwater sources than freshwater ones. In the park, there is an ethnographic museum that is close to the Skradinsky Buk waterfall. Very unusual objects connected to the history and culture of these regions can be found in it. 
For instance, a model of a washing machine that operates by harnessing the power of a waterfall is on display in the museum. Monasteries On the National Park's grounds Here in the 14th century, the Serbian Orthodox Monastery of Krakow was founded. Its fate is somewhat difficult because the monastery was constantly damaged throughout historical changes. It was repaired in 2001 and is now open to visitors. On the same named Little Island stands the Franciscan Monastery of Visavac. It was constructed by Augustinian monks in the 14th century, but the Franciscan order took control of it during the Ottoman invasion, and they have owned it ever since. You can view church-related clothes, old books and manuscripts, and much more here. Itineraries the Krakow National Park is open all year, however different activities are available depending on the season. You can go on your own or with a tour group on the lake and hiking paths. The Krakow Park has a number of beautifully groomed pathways and viewing areas. There are information boards all around them where you can discover fascinating details about the nearby sites. It is hard to get lost in this park because only designated pathways are available for travel. Guidebooks and maps for Krakow National Park A Ticket Office and Information Center are located at the park's entrance, where you can pick up a map showing all the paths across the area as well as the most recent details on boat schedules and planned trips. The park features a number of cafes and restaurants, rest areas, restrooms, and gift shops, for instance, close to the entrance and the Manage Lovac waterfall. Due to the size of the park, it is advisable to bring a stroller, sling, or ergo baby carrier if you intend to walk about it with a little child. Subscribe and like my channel. I'm happy to try for you. See you in the next video.